Bro, I'm going to tell you how to fix the Lakers. I'm going to put myself on the G and high seat. I'm not going to title my video that or none of that. The Lakers should trade LeBron James, right? At the NBA trade deadline, they should trade LeBron James to the Cleveland Cavaliers and get as many assets as possible. And I've been saying this. Y'all could go ahead, go down my archives, go down my archives, just scroll down and you'll see me say that LeBron James will eventually request a trade. And you already see them, you know, painting that narrative in the media. You seen Stephen A go out and say they need to trade Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis, right? I'm not an advocate for trading Anthony Davis, and I will keep Russell Westbrook for the remainder of the season. Because I'm of the belief that Russell Westbrook wouldn't be as horrible if he wasn't playing alongside LeBron James. See, they both played the exact same way. Russell Westbrook would limit his turnovers without LeBron James. He would probably be more comfortable because it wouldn't be so much pressure because majority of the criticism comes from the LeBron James fans boy, the LeBron James fanboys in the media. So he'll be a lot more comfortable taking those shots, knowing that he's not gonna get heavily criticized. See, Russell Westbrook has always played the same way. High turnovers, which is why I said that he shouldn't come to the Lakers. But he's already here. So I think that Russell Westbrook would play so well. Because Russell Westbrook, I don't know if people want to hear it or not, and I don't care what nobody say. Russell Westbrook can go to another team. They ain't going to give him $47 million. He ain't going to get that no more. But I guarantee you, he'll still be able to earn $20-something million somewhere. I guarantee you that. Promise that. I put my last dollar on it. I put your last dollar on it. I ain't going I ain't going to put my last dollar on it. I put y'all last dollar on it. Because LeBron James is holding Russell Westbrook back. He'll take more shots, you know, and it's so much pressure on Russell Westbrook because he can't create off the dribble, he can't move without the ball. His game is very limited. He don't have no ball handling skills just like LeBron. And he can't beat nobody off the dribble like he used to. So he has to find other ways to be effective. So what the Lakers need to do is they need to trade LeBron. And I said it. I said LeBron James is not going to be able to make it. He's not going to be able to make it. He cares more about being embarrassed than getting that record. I, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See, last year, he could get away with it. He could get away with just scoring 30, 40 plus points. But now when Russell Westbrook, he's, he's got, he done smartened up. Russell Westbrook said, well, look, they got to pay me anyway. So whether I sit on the bench or not, I ain't got to get traded. Y'all going to hurt in the long run because y'all still got to pay me that money. I take that money and I invest. And like I said, somebody will take, somebody will take Russell Westbrook next year. They may not give him a whole lot of money, but they give him enough to where he could come and he could go on that team and He's still a popular figure, whether he lose or not, whether he play bad or not. He's still a popular athlete in the sport. So y'all can say what y'all want about Russell Westbrook, like I said, because Anthony Davis and LeBron James should be enough. Y'all need to figure out how to win. LeBron James supposedly makes the players around him better. Make the players around you better. People like, he's too old to be carrying the team. No, you got to pick your spots. This is what Kobe Bryant said. Kobe Bryant said, there's certain ways. The older you get, you seen Jordan do it. He said, you seen me do it. And I'm paraphrasing, but that's something along the lines that he said. He said, the greats find a way to win. He was like, I'm not buying that LeBron James ain't got enough talent on that Cleveland Cavaliers team. Go all out in the first two quarters and then be patting the stats later on in the game. No, you need to be saving most of that energy and picking your spots of when you need to go off, which is in the fourth quarter. But he ain't trying to pass no torch to, to Anthony Davis or Russell Westbrook because he's trying to pad his stats. He's not trying. Yes, like Charles Barkley said, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar passed the torch. He passed the torch to Magic Johnson. But Kareem was willing to do that. He didn't have an ego. He put his ego to the side and he went to Magic Johnson and said I, he had to be realistic. He wasn't being delusional. 
He didn't chase records because he just thought that, you know, having the most points in NBA history was going to make him the greatest player, that having most rings would make him the greatest player. Jordan said that. I didn't do it for the records because otherwise I'd still be playing. But LeBron James is purposely trying to stay in the game and break these records. He don't want to dial it back and pass the torch and pass the keys to Anthony Davis. He's not going to do that. Because he wants to continue to pad his stats. He now he don't care about winning like that. But what's gonna end up, like I said, what's gonna happen is because now they're putting the pressure on him. So it's gonna be nice where because truth be known, truth be told, if teams were to be physical and like guard LeBron James, like I remember last year with the Toronto Raptors, they was physical with LeBron. I'm talking about guarding him from like the inbound. The inbound. And he got upset. He started to get frustrated. That's when he threw the ball hard. Remember, the, he, he jumped out of bounds. He tried to go for the chase the ball. And he tried to like, and he slammed the ball against, uh, what's the guy named Barnes head from the Toronto Raptors. He knew what he was doing. He got upset. He was frustrated. The man only had like 15, 14 points. He think that they should bow down to him because he's the so-called king. No, you got to earn it. They've made it too easy for him. He'll never be the GOAT. Never be the GOAT. But like I said, if you want to fix the Lakers, trade LeBron James. And I guarantee you Russell Westbrook will elevate his play. I guarantee you that Anthony Davis will elevate their play. Anthony Davis ain't even going to watch what I tell you. Anthony Davis probably won't get injured when LeBron James leave. Mark my words. You'll probably think that Anthony Davis went to go pay for a new body. He paid for a new body. He got some new legs. He's, he's not even injury prone no more. Made a steal. Trade LeBron James and see what it do for you. I sound like, I sound like I'm advertising for a campaign. If you want to win, then get rid of LeBron.